polythene there are two types of polythene as given below they are namely low density polythene and high density polythene furthermore we have polytetrafluoroethene and polyacrylonitrile under the high density polythene let us now study about low density polythene it is obtained by the polymerization of ethene under high pressure of 1000 to 2000 atmospheres at a temperature of 350 to 570 kelvin in the presence of traces of dioxygen or a peroxide initiator the low density polythene obtained through the free radical addition and hydrogen atom abstraction has highly branched structure The low density polythene is chemically inert and tough but flexible and a poor conductor of electricity. Hence it is used in the insulation of electricity carrying wires and manufacture of squeeze bottles, toys and flexible pipes. High density polythenes. It is formed when addition polymerization of ethene takes place in a hydrocarbon solvent. In the presence of a catalyst such as triethyl aluminium and titanium tetrachloride at a temperature of approximately 333 to 343 Kelvin and at a high pressure of 6 to 7 atmospheres. The following diagram depicts the 3D image of triethyl aluminium and this is the diagram for titanium tetrachloride. High density polyethene thus produced consists of linear molecules and has a high density due to close packing. If you can see the molecular structure of polyethene, all the molecules are closely packed. Thus they have very high density. It is also chemically inert and more tougher and harder. So since due to their high density they are used for manufacturing buckets, dustbins, bottles, pipes etc. Now let us study about Teflon. Teflon is generally manufactured by heating tetrafluoroethane with a free radical or pest sulfate catalyst at high pressures. In the following reaction we have n units of tetrafluoroethane. Under high pressure and the presence of nickel or any other good catalyst Teflon is formed. It, teflon thus form is chemically inert and resistant to attack by corrosive reagents. It is also used for making oil seals and gaskets and also for non-stick surface coated utensils.